This is a pair of Adafruit Feather M0 development boards. Now each of them has an RFM69 packet radio module installed on it already. Now the module can act in two different modes. It can either send a continuous stream of data between the sender and the receiver, or it can send packets, and that can go in a bi-directional way. So for this project, I wanted to have an encrypted stream of packets going from a sender to a receiver and vice versa. Now a Bluetooth device might have about 30 to 50 meters of range. And that's because, well, mainly it uses the 2.4 gigahertz band, whereas these guys use a 915 megahertz band. This means that they can talk to each other up to about 500 meters away. Now to display messages and incoming data, now these are DF Robot's OLED 2864 displays, which means that they are 120 pixels wide and 64 pixels tall. And because they are monochrome, meaning either black or white, we can use bit packing, which means that a single byte can encode 8 pixel values instead of 1 pixel value being encoded by you know, 16 bits or even up to 24 bits, which greatly helps save space. Now whenever a message is being drawn, it is shown on the display itself. But once you want to send it, the actual data behind the display gets copied over to a packet. Now that packet has a screen buffer in it, and then that buffer gets sent over to the receiver, where it is then copied over to another screen buffer and then displayed. Now each device can fit neatly into a breadboard, and you can see that it consists of the feather uh, development board, and then also three buttons. Now each button has a different role, so one of them is to pair, which basically puts the board into receive mode, so it will actively be looking for a signal. 